All right, hey, welcome back. There's a zombie. Welcome back to Jeff Plays Resident Evil for PS4, the remastered HD version. Once again, I have looked up what I am supposed to do on this part, so I now know which area vaguely to go towards. What I basically do when I look up a guide is kind of follow where I've been with the guide and where I need to go, but then I don't really read past that because I don't want to spoil what I'm supposed to do. I kind of want to figure it out for myself. So if it says go back through here and head through the double doors here, then I'll do that. And uh, and actually one interesting thing is that this door, I think I can access this door now, but first I kind of want to try to get that compass or whatever the heck that is up there. So let's see if it's possible to climb. Is that zombie in there? Oh yeah, there he is. Okay. Let's see what I can do about him. Maybe I can knife him through this opening. That'd be a good way to conserve ammo. Shit. Okay. Wanna make sure I don't die, though. Maybe a little closer. Uh, uh, nope. He doesn't seem to be able to get me. Yeah, it just doesn't look like I can do much. Alright, I guess I just gotta shoot him. Alright, buddy. Uh. Uh. Let's move this out of the way. Just a little bit, though. Oh, can I knife him while he's on the ground? Let's see. Oh, only got one in. I'm gonna switch back, switch back, and actually, I'm gonna go ahead and reload there. Fuck. Okay, I think that killed him. Yeah, he's he's dead. And the only problem with that is he's gonna turn at some point. But hopefully, I'll be able to uh, push this back to where he was. Map of the first floor. Yes, I'll take that shit. Good. Okay. Let's push this back over into the sucker. <laughs> Just push it right on top of his head. Boom. Hopefully that covers you up, sucker. Now I think I can go through here. Yes. Okay. Now here's where that broken shotgun is going to come in handy. Or at least I think so. Oh, are there dogs in here? There better not be dogs in here. Let's see, I think I remember. Yes. Oh, it's a dagger. Sweet. That'll be helpful later on. Kick ass. Oh, God. Dogs. Dogs. Oh, no. Gotta keep going. Gotta keep going. Oh, there's another cabinet. Can I move that one? No. Okay. Dogs, dogs. Move this one. Ooh, I can move this one. Oh, apparently not. Well, there aren't any dogs coming out, so... Maybe I was wrong. What is this? Oh, sweet handgun ammo. Slick. Okay, I guess the dogs are later on. God, that's gonna suck whenever the dogs come out. That's gonna be terrible. Uh-oh, where am I? What's this? Okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to go through there yet. Uh-oh. Gosh, which door to go through? I don't even know. Oh, okay, here's the bathroom. I remember this part. I remember this part completely. It doesn't look like it's been serviced in a while. Wow. See, I gotta, pl I gotta pull the drain from this. And somehow, Jill is able to remove the plug without the zombie without touching the zombie, which I guess, I don't even know what she did, but, zombie, and now, if I'm good enough here, I should be able to go around him and grab what's inside the bathtub, which I can't remember what it is, but I know it's important, oh, unless she kills him, oh, that works too, that's good. <laughs> okay, well, guess she puked. 
Oh, it's another dagger. Okay, that's not. It's not. I thought it would be a key or something, but I guess that's. I guess that works. <laughs> Might be helpful later on. And what's around here? Hmm. Let's check out this door first. Just to see what area this is. This looks like an outdoor area, so might be something I can just quickly go check out. Yeah, it is an outdoor area. Oh, dogs. Oh, they're on the other side of the gate. Okay, whoa. You bastard scared the poo out of me. Oh, that bag of chemical. Oh, what's this? Oh, there's a kerosene thing out here. I didn't know that. Oh, whoops. I just pressed the button. Okay, I don't want to take up too many any more inventory space. I'll just remember that there are herbs out here. But I do need to take this chemical. So I don't have to deal with this thing later on. Which I think would normally be a boss, but... There's just much way, a much easier way to deal with it. By using this chemical. So it's, I think this part has dogs or something. Let's see. Nope, nothing. Oh man, so many doors. Oh jeez. I don't even know if this is the door I should have gone through. We'll see. Oh. Oh yes, this is. Good. Good. Now if you're unfamiliar with this part, there is this nice little room in here, which almost looks like a save room. It technically is a safe room, but it's not a save room. You can't save in here. And uh, there's another dagger. Jeez, do these, hopefully these stack because I've got quite a few of them. Some ink ribbons right here, which I'd rather not take up the space to use. But there is this shotgun. Now if you take the shotgun, you see that that moves up. Now, this is what this broken shotgun comes in handy here. You replace it with the broken one. So now I've got a real shotgun here that actually works. And I get to get out of this area without being crushed by the ceiling, which this room, if you take the shotgun without putting that other shotgun back, the ceiling crushes you in this room. There's another way out of it or whatever, but I'd rather just be safe here and Go ahead and put the broken shock in there. It's not too big of a deal to just do that, so. Oh no, I'm gonna keep going down here. Because there's probably an. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Some double doors. Ah, oh, I think I know where this leads to. Hopefully, this leads to the area with that mini boss, but I don't know. Oh, so it's another door. There's a zombie in here, in there. Let's check this door. Oh, jeez. So many areas to check. So little time. What's this? Oh god. Okay, so there's a save room over there. I'm gonna save that for- Oh no. Oh crap, I just pressed yes. Ah. Oh, okay, I can't get back through here. Dang it. Yeah, I can't go back through that way, I don't think. Let's see, where does this lead? Spencer family out. Okay, interesting. Is this the door? Fuck. Okay, let's see if I can dodge this guy. Might be able to. Oh god. Ah! <laughs> Good thing I have daggers. Fuck you, buddy. Let's see how many hits I can get off on him. Oh jeez, not many. Oh, this is locked. No, it's not. Whew. Thank the maker. Oh shit, where am I now? I'm sensing... You can feel when this game is going wrong. That's a dog. That's a dog. No. Fuck you. Use the dagger. Use the dagger. Okay, alright. Okay. Ow. It's not good. What is this? God damn you. Fuck. Shit, okay, um... This bastard... He's gonna kill me. Oh, wow. There we go. That did it, right? Good lord, that thing took a lot out of me. That son of a bitch. And there are no herbs out here either, of course. God, what a pointless area until I have whatever that thing is. Now there's gonna be a zombie back in here that's gonna wanna kill me as well. Son of a bitch. 
Oh my god, of course. Ah, shit. This is not the way I should have done this. I was gonna be a zombie through this door as well. I'm gonna have to drop him. Let's see. It's right there. Fuck. Okay. There we go. Oh, herb. Sweet. Yeah, take it. In fact, just go ahead and use it. Jeez. Whew. This is quite... Quite the game here. So scary. Not scary in the sense of like, oh, scary, scared. But just like, ugh, it's so desperate. The desperation. Alright. I'm running out of inventory spots here. Let's go ahead and use this herb. Go ahead and take these handgun bullets. And this should be the same exact contents of my other one, yes. Now the fuel canteen is not going to come in handy until I have a lighter. But since I do have one space open, I might as well just keep it. And if I really need to, I can just come back here and throw something else in. Let's refill my fuel canteen. And honestly, I haven't saved in a good while, so I'm going to go ahead and lay down a save here so let's pull out some ink ribbons for this alright guys hope you've enjoyed this episode of Resident Evil Remastered hopefully you guys will stick around for this series uh, I am planning on making it a longer series uh, it would be nice to beat this game this is one of those games that I've always wanted to beat my whole life it's kinda of one of those you know so hopefully I stick to that, but uh, you know, time always becomes a, a constraint, but I feel like I can lay down a couple of episodes a day on this and have it done pretty quickly, so we'll see what happens. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you on the next one.